Hey everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today, I wanna to talk to you guys about the areas of high failure in any single medical device out there. You see, I talk about this all the time and I don't think I've ever compiled it into like a definitive guide to what could possibly be wrong. So, as you guys know, I have a Biomed one that works with me all the time and I'm constantly teaching her the intricate details of what we do what we do and yesterday I stopped and I popped her a trick question and I said what are the two points of high failure rate on any medical device out there and she thought about it for a second and she instantly answered me back the power cord and the buttons that's a pretty good question um, well she she was right but she needs to be more generalized so Guys, the high points of failure on any device out there, any device whatsoever, are gonna be your power supply, which is your power cord, your IEC power input module, RF filter, and your switch mode power supply. That's your power supply in general. And then areas where the user interfaces with the device. Not just the buttons, guys. It could be a port where they plug in a attachment. It could be a foot control. These are all areas where the user interfaces with the device. And each of them is gonna be a high point of failure because the user is obviously the one thing that's gonna mess up a device. <laughs> so that is a vast, vast majority of all the failures we see. It's gonna be the power supply, someplace down the line, or it's going to be an area where the user interfaces with the device. It could be just the power button. It could be the touch panel screen. It could be the ports where pl stuff plugs in. It could be a handle that the user grabs onto, or it could be a hook that they use to, to latch onto something. Any spot where the user interfaces with the device is gonna be an extremely high failure point because negligence, maybe poor design, who knows, but just, it is what it is. But anyway, I just had to share that with you guys. I'm here at the HTM Mixer in Milwaukee. I'm loving the view. I look right out over the stadium and everything. It's, it's absolutely fantastic. And I was just sitting here and I was thinking back on that question I popped yesterday, just out of nowhere, just to see if she's really listening to some of the stuff that I say. And sure enough, uh, congratulations, Alyssa. <laughs> she got it. She just wasn't general enough about, you know, all the points of the system. So anyway, guys, just wanted to throw that out there. It is a interesting thing to think about, you know, almost all the failures that you see on any device, not just medical equipment, could be even your car. The areas that are gonna fail higher than others are gonna be points where the user interfaces with the device. So it could be a door handle, it could be directional signal on your car, um, could be anything along those lines, maybe even the radio versus you know the seat failing or something like that you know it's it's just the way it is or it's going to be the power supply your engine <laughs> you know the user is going to put in the wrong gasoline or something and it's going to mess up the engine anyway just something to think about guys i'm just sitting here chilling waiting for the htm mixer to start up tomorrow i'm actually very excited i don't know if i'm going to sleep at all tonight maybe i'll sit up here i got a whole bunch of footage of other stuff to edit and uh, I think that's what I'll be doing uh, for the next day or so. But anyway, I hope to see some of you guys at the HTM Mixer. I'm, I'm very, very excited. I already got a couple people to, to talk to tomorrow and the next day. Tomorrow is gonna be my interview with MedWrench. Emily reached out to me a couple weeks ago and uh, we were able to put something together. And that's gonna be the opening of uh, the HTM Mixer is gonna be my interview and uh, I'm really interested in meeting some of you guys, so come on down if you're in the area. If you're flying in, I hope to see you guys there tomorrow and the next day. Thanks for watching, guys.